For practice it exercise 3.17 pad string, we need to write a method pad string that accepts two parameters, a string and an integer re representing length. The method should pad the parameter string with spaces until its length is the given length. So we have this as our example, and we can go off of this. To start this off, we need to realize that we have eight spaces in here, or we have eight slots in here. We have our hello, which takes up five slots, and it's going to happen after the three slots where it's empty. So to do this, we need to count how many spaces we have. We need something to store these spaces in. So we can make an int space, and we can set this equal to our length, which is an int, minus our s dot length. So however big this string is, it is going to be in here. If our string is greater, it's going to be storing the that amount of spaces in here. Our length will always be bigger than our string, so we don't have to account for um, any negatives here, otherwise we should probably use math.absoluteValues. But since length is always going to be greater than or equal to the length of the string, this is our space holder right here. Next we're going to have a for loop that adds these spaces into our return statement. So we are going to have int, and we can call this a is equal to zero, and this is going to run as long as a is less than space, and we're just going to do a plus plus. And in here, we, well, actually outside of here, because we're going to return this, we need to make a temporary variable. So we can say string temp, and this is going to hold this string right here. And we can just set this equal to parentheses to initialize it. In here, we'll have a temp plus equals. That way, it'll keep adding into the temp. And we're just going to have a space in here. So it adds these spaces until um, the amount is hit, the amount of spaces is hit. After this, we are just going to return temp, but we haven't put in our string yet. So we're going to do temp plus equals s. If we submit this, we have passed all five tests. So this is the code for this problem.